Introduction to SQL Variables This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Here I have a car dealership application where I explained dependent drop-down methods in a previous tutorial. I am now going to add branches to the application. The user must select the branch first before he or she can add vehicle stock. I will use the branch ID to demonstrate SQL variables. First, I refer to the manual about SQL variables. As you can see, we have a few to work with, but in this tutorial we will focus mainly on the session.key SQL variable. Session.key represents any session variable and is quite a handy feature to have. The next few minutes of this tutorial will briefly explain the changes needed to add the branch functionality. First I click on create new table and I call it dealership underscore branch. It has two fields, an ID and a branch description field. Secondly, I add a field to the car's stock table and call it stock branch ID. To speed things up, I manually added two branches called northern and southern branch using phpMyAdmin. The stock branch ID for the current record in the car stock table is empty, so I decided to delete the record to start fresh. Next, I prepared a new branch table. I'm only going to need a list page. At the menu builder, I need the dealership branch to be first on the list. I add a custom button to the grid and name it Select Branch. In the server event, I extract the branch ID and store it in a session variable called branch ID. I will need this soon, so I copy paste the variable to Notepad. The client after event will just refresh the list page. I also add a code snippet to the list page in an attempt to show the user the current selected branch ID. At the list page before process event of the car stock table, I test to see if the session variable is set and only allow the page to display if a branch is selected. We are now ready to start working with SQL variables. At the page designer, I am now on the add page of the car's stock table. Double click the stock branch ID field and select a lookup wizard from the edit as tab. The table I will use is going to be a dealership branch I created a few moments ago. The link field will be the ID and the display field will be the branch description. I want to filter on the session variable which contains any of the two branch IDs. And to do that I will need the session.key 
SQL variable. Replace key with the session variable name. Expand the way close area and type id equals session dot branch id. Click OK. I uploaded the project and let's see what we have so far. This is the page where you need to select the branch you want to work with. If I select the northern branch, the session variable is 1. And if I select the southern branch, the value changed to 2. I also have this clear button that simply unset the variable in the server event. The cars stock page will not open as no branch is selected. It is probably a good idea to notify the user at this point that a branch selection is compulsory. I now select the northern branch and click on cars stock. This time the page opens as the session variable is set. Click on add new and you will notice that the northern branch is selected and is also the only value available. Let's select the southern branch and do the same. This time the southern branch is available. The query in the lookup wizard where clause is working as expected. I am now adding two records for the southern branch so we have some data to work with. I now select the northern branch and will add some records as well. But wait, something is wrong. I selected the northern branch but I can still see records from the southern branch. Let's fix this. Back at the project code events, I go to the list page before SQL query events page of the stock table. Here we can make changes to the where clause as so many of us have been doing many times before. The concept is simple. I set the dollar string where clause variable to filter stock branch ID with whatever value is stored in a session branch ID SQL variable, right? Wrong. You can see that the value in session branch ID SQL variable did not translate correctly. I expected a 1 or a 2 here and not this. So what is going on? According to the manual, when working with SQL variables in code events, you must first prepare the query using the prepare SQL function. It applies to the entire query and not only the where clause. For demonstration purposes, I copy the entire query and set a dollar SQL variable with it. I add the where clause and set dollar str SQL after sending it to the prepare SQL function. Please note the space I left over here. Ok, seems to be working. Let's add two records for the northern branch as well. So now we only see the selected branch records. 
Although this is working, it is not recommended in this particular case. As I changed $STR SQL while being warned not to do so. I only did it to demonstrate the prepare SQL function, which is compulsory when working with queries containing SQL variables in event code. The best way to achieve the same is to add the WHERE clause in the regular SQL query on the SQL query screen. 